Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to give you a lot of motivation to get all the things done that need to be done around the house. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jen and I do all things motherhood related, homemaking, cleaning, organizing, and all that good stuff. I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So on this day, it was a Monday. Monday is my laundry day. I had a lot of stuff to do though around the house, not just my normal stuff. I had a lot of picking up and tasks that I needed to do to get the week started off right. A lot of things that I usually try to do on Sundays, but I didn't get to. Um, I already had one load washed and dried and my second load in the dryer. I did that before um, I took my son to preschool and he is currently at preschool now. So this is the probably about two, two to two and a half hours that I have um, without kids in the morning and I was just trying to knock everything out. If you are curious on how I do my laundry, I do have a video on my laundry routine and I'll put an iCard up here, but I also have the link down in the description box down below if you're interested in checking that out. But I have my whole everything that I do regarding laundry in that video. So check that out. It's got some good tips for you in there. Let me know in the comments down below, are you one that washes all of your clothes laundry in one day, or do you wash a load of clothes each day of the week? Let me know down below. Next, I am moving on to the master bedroom. Um, in here, I'm just making up the bed and picking up a couple things. It's really never that bad in here. I just, the main thing is making up the bed. I do it every day and I usually try to do it before I even leave the house in the morning doing school drop-offs. Um, but I didn't get to it this morning, but also just wanted to have it included in the video because that is part of my morning routine, my whole cleaning up and you know doing all the things that I do around the house. Um, but yeah, I always like to start in my bedroom and my bed made for the day just kind of sets up and gives me motivation just to kind of pick everything else up and just kind of get started on the right track. Moving on to the master bathroom. Um, I usually keep everything pretty picked up in here. Um, this morning we were kind of quick to run out the door for school drop-offs, but usually after I get ready and do my hair and makeup and everything, I put things right back in the cabinet and kind of get it all picked up, but I didn't have a chance to do that before I left this morning, so that's what I'm doing now. Just putting everything back where it belongs, and then I'm just doing a quick wipe down of the counters with a disinfecting wipe, just kind of getting off any makeup, hairspray, hair that's just left on the counter. Um, just doing a quick wipe down on that just makes, doesn't take long, but it makes a big difference in the bathroom. I found some um, toys in my closet that my son was playing with when I was finishing up getting ready this morning. So I'm just taking those, putting them in the playroom. Next, I am moving on to the kitchen area. Um, I didn't get everything done last night in the kitchen that I normally do. Um, it was my um, middle son's birthday yesterday. So it was kind of, I don't know, the whole weekend, we didn't really get too much done around the house. And we had his birthday party on Saturday and Sunday was his birthday. Um, so we just were busy and just all the birthday things all around the house. Um, so now I am unloading the dishwasher, getting all those things put away from dinner and just yesterday. Um, we always run the dishwasher at nighttime and unload it in the morning. I do like to try to have it done in the morning before I leave to take my youngest son to preschool, um, but that doesn't always happen. It really just depends um, on our time situation in the morning. But if I don't have it done before I take him to school, um, then I do it usually when I get back home or right before I go to get him 
them when I'm making his lunch and everything. Um, so now that I have the dishwasher unloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and make his lunch real quick before I start doing all the dirty dishes and wiping down the counters and everything from breakfast. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just packing his lunch. He gets out of school at noon and I always bring his lunch with me because he eats it on the way home. If I wait until he gets home, he's starving and then he's so tired but then can't sit still to eat before he lays down for a nap. So I always have it. He eats it in the car on the way home. Now that that's done, I'm moving on to loading up the dishwasher with dishes from breakfast and then a couple cups that was not put in the dishwasher last night before it was started. So just putting all those in there. And I like to load um, the plates, like I, I don't know, I just have like the certain spots that I put the plates in the dishwasher and then the cups on the top. Um, yeah, everybody just has their own way of loading the dishwasher, I assume. Um, but. Here I am just washing out the coffee pot and setting it on the drying mat to dry. And then I go ahead and just kind of clean out the sink a little bit. My husband is not always the best at cleaning out the sink when he helps with the dishes at nighttime and it kind of drives me nuts. But if he's doing the dishes, then that's okay. I can clean out the sink and wipe things down later. Here I am just wiping off the table. I'm not sure if it got wiped down from dinner last night or I'm not really sure, but I went ahead and wiped down the table. I'm just putting some water in the flowers here that my daughter got for her birthday last weekend. They're pretty much about dead, some of them, and they are probably need to be thrown away pretty soon, but I know she's not going to like it when they need to be thrown out. So they're just going to sit there for a couple more days. Um, I'm now just wiping down all of the counters and everything, just getting the kitchen pretty good and cleaned up. And I was just using the dish rag to wipe down the counters and table and everything. Um, I usually just use that throughout the day. And then at nighttime after dinner, when I do a good thorough cleaning, I use a spray and paper towel. Um, I just took the trash out and now lighting a candle to make it smell nice and good in the house. So now it's time to switch laundry over again, fold laundry. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the laundry was finished drying. I'm gonna finish folding these clothes and then move on to starting the next load of clothes. Here I had to, um, I was listening, I had my AirPods in and I was listening to a podcast and the one that I was listening to had ended. So I had to put another one on and I honestly don't even remember what I was listening to on at this time, but yeah, that's what I was doing there. And now I am spraying some of the kids clothes that I know need to be sprayed and starting that load of laundry. I am moving on to picking up and putting things away that are in the mudroom area. And a lot of this was from, actually all that right there was from my son's birthday over the weekend. He had his party and then we celebrated his actual birthday just with our family. Um, to be honest, there was a lot more stuff that was here and all over the rest of the house um, yesterday, but I just couldn't handle it. And I had to take care of some of it last night before I went to bed. I was gonna save it and do it all in this video, but y'all, I just, I could not handle it anymore. So a lot of the stuff was already put away. Now I'm just getting our mudroom lockers just kind of picked up and organized a little bit to get started um, out on the right track for the school week. Mm -hmm. 
Moving on to the living room, and this is not bad at all. There's really nothing out besides a couple things that I needed to pick up on the floor and then fold all of the blankets. The kids had drug all the blankets out and they all needed to be folded up. Um, last night this living room was atrocious and I just couldn't handle it anymore I could not go to sleep and wake up and walk in to such a disaster in <laughs> this morning so I went ahead and got that picked up so you're not gonna see how bad that living room actually was but it was pretty bad from all the birthday stuff and you know so I was just folding all the blankets putting those away and then now I am starting a our robot vacuum because I'm not gonna have time to do a good vacuum before I have to go and get my youngest son from school so I'm just letting my robot vacuum do a little work here so I am just cleaning off my desk area which is in the kitchen area living room just the main open part of the house um, I just need to get it picked up everything just kind of builds up there now tell me let me know in the comments down below do you like keep up with keeping the house tidy over the weekend or do you, you kind of get behind on the weekends and like stay really good during the week tell me how you go about it because in our house it ends up getting really messy over the weekend and we just don't keep it up as much but during the week I do a pretty good job of keeping it tidy and picked up to an extent you know with the kids but yeah let me know down below do you keep it tidy over the weekend or does it kind of go a little bit more on the weekend and then you have to Monday just like really just clean up everything here I am working on my September menu plan, my meal plans, and I was hungry, so I have a little um, little Tex-Mex um, trail mix in the cup, <laughs> just a kid's cup, because I just needed a little snack. Um, but I'm working on the menu plan. I was kind of having a hard time because fall ball is getting started back up this week, and I don't really know exactly when practices are gonna be yet, and that makes a big difference in what kind of meals that I plan. Um, so right here, I am just kind of working on just this week for now, and then I am doing my Walmart grocery pickup order on the Walmart grocery app um, to pick up the next day. So right here, I was just working on my menu plan and getting my grocery order in and yeah now just to complete my grocery order I am glancing through my fridge and then the pantry just to make sure there's nothing else that I need to add to my order um, but yeah I get that all done and it is submitted and gonna be picked up tomorrow morning So here I am working on completing my weekly planner spread. I'm using a little stencil and making lines. I like to have my lines to write in my list and my to-dos and just things for each day. So I am working on my planner for the week right here. I usually like to try to get this done on Sundays just to get it set up for the week to start on Mondays, but I don't always get to it on the weekends. Um, if I don't get to it on Sundays, I do it on Monday morning. So then I'm set up for the week. Um, so I'm just filling all that in here um, and then I had to stop this change over the laundry real quick and then I it was time for me to go and grab my youngest from preschool we are back home it's around one o'clock now and now I am getting started on getting dinner going in the crock pot I needed something just really simple tonight because I didn't really have much on hand because I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow. And I didn't go to the grocery store last week because we had Hurricane Dorian here and I didn't do my normal grocery shop shopping trip. So tonight is our first baseball season for fall ball. So I needed something really quick to eat when we got back home. So I am just doing chicken Alfredo, just easy, putting the chicken in there, seasoning it, and putting Alfredo sauce and just letting it cook. Um, it's one of the kids' favorites and it's so easy. I just cook the noodles before we leave and so everything's ready when we walk in the door from practice. 
So the last thing that I'm doing, I just put Colton down for his nap. Um, so I have around an hour to get a little work done that I need to do before I get the big kids off of the bus. And then Colton is up for his nap and then it starts the afternoon stuff. Um, and then my, all my attention are all on the kids and then the afternoons, evening activities. But I needed to get some stuff ready for um, our baseball team, my husband coaches, and I take care of all the other stuff. So we're getting stuff ready for the first practice tonight. And then once I finished with this, I started working on editing a video. Um, but yeah, I usually try to do my computer work and stuff like this done while Colton is napping and before I get the big kids off of the bus. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my video today of getting the house cleaned up and just all my to-do list done and just a busy day of getting ready for the week. And if you're not already, follow me on Instagram at My Organized Tribe. I post a little bit more over there and you kind of get a little bit more feel of what's going on throughout the day. Um, but thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye guys.